What up, y'all? It's P-Town John. I'm going to show you how to set up external MIDI pedals to control Amplitube inside Studio One. The first thing you're going to need is an audio interface that has a MIDI input. If you don't have one, you can buy USB to MIDI adapters for about 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down below for one that works well. So go ahead and open up Studio One. And the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to configure external devices. Open that up. Click on add. And then we're going to want to put in a new control surface. So my audio interface has a MIDI input. And it's an M-Audio Air 192. So get that information in there and then I'll hit the receive from drop down and select my air 192 and then click OK and then click OK again on your options. So go ahead and open up a new song and then you can go ahead and open up Amplitude, drag it to a new track. And then I already have all my stomp pedals all loaded up. So the first thing I want to set up is I want to be able to click from clean to distortion on one of my stomp pedals. So I'll go ahead and arm the track. And then what you want to do is on the very top menu click on track and then click on add automation track once that's up there's going to be a drop down that says none go ahead and click that and then click on add remove and then on the left here you have your track one where amplitude is go ahead and hit down the arrow for the drop down hit the arrow again under inserts and then we're going to go ahead and select param one and then you could add that over and then under mode you want to cl click on that and you want to read it and then you could close that out so I want to go from channel 1 to channel 3 so I'm gonna go ahead and hover over channel 3 button on Amplitude right click assign automation channel and then it's going to bring up the parameter list. I'm going to click on parameter 1. And then over here I could actually verify if it works. And you could see how it toggles back from channel 1 to channel 3. So once I have that, I want to verify that my uh, MIDI signal is the Air 192. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, gear. It says Edit Mapping if, once you hover over it. And then so we have Parameter 1 and then we have Control. So I'm going to click on this Edit Device arrow. I'm going to select my Air 192. And then it's going to bring up External Devices. So now I want to learn the button that I want to control the channel selection. So I hit MIDI Learn. And then I'll just click on my stomp button. So now you see that it shows up here. And if you want, you could change it. It's an on-off button. I could name it. Channel Distortion. And then I could go ahead and close that out. So I have my channel distortion, I'm on parameter 1, and now I want to assign that button to control parameter 1. So there's an arrow in between those, and it says assign, go ahead and click on that. And now, it jumps back and forth from clean to distortion. So now that I got that set up, I want to add another control. I'm going to go into my stomps now, 
and I want to be able to control my wah pedal. As you see here, I'm going to control the wah function of the pedal. So I'm going to do the same thing, go to track, add automation track, click on none drop down so I can add the parameter. And then we're going to go on the track one, arrow drop down, insert drop down, and now we're going to click on parameter two. Add parameter two over. Make sure it's in the read mode, which it already is. And then now we can assign parameter two to the wah function of the pedal. And now we can verify it works. <laughs> So now that that's working, we can come over again to our settings up here under the edit mapping. And then we want to hit air 192 again so we could learn the wah pedal. So I'm going to hit MIDI learn, move my wah pedal around, picked it up right there. can edit the description close that out so I got my wah here parameter 2 is up and all I got to do now is assign it all right so now all that's working the next thing I want to assign is the on off button for the wah so I'm gonna go ahead and hit track again add automation hit the drop down add go to track one since that's where amplitude is inserts and I'm gonna hit parameter three now add that over close that down and then on my wah pedal I'm gonna assign parameter three and I could verify that works and it does, it's toggling it back and forth. And now I'm going to learn that stomp pedal for the on off on my wall. So I'm going to hit air 192 again for my MIDI. Hit MIDI learn. And then click my stomp button for that pedal. Could switch it over to button. Wall on off. And close that out so now I got my wall on off parameter 3 is up and all I got to do now is assign it and that's it you just keep rep repeating those steps for whatever MIDI devices you have faders buttons pedals for volume and you could go through and just assign any function within amplitude to control all your pedals so they actually all work when you're recording uh, any of your tracks well i hope that helps you out guys see you next time <laughs>